while I wait for Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 8. I am now sad and depressed due to the ending of Episode 7, and I can only imagine that others are as well. So, while we wait for this wonderful series to return, let's talk about our favorite characters from Baking Bad and Better Call Saul. Let's start with Walter. I'm sure, as for many of you, on your first watch, you would say Walter was your favorite character, and I would agree. He was one of my favorite characters throughout Breaking Bad on my first watch. And honestly, the more I watched the show, the more he slowly became not as cool as I thought he was, because he betrayed Jesse. He killed Mike and Gus, and for no reason, he tried to kill Jesse, and then he watched Jane die. And yes, I'm aware this is more so of Heisenberg coming out for the first time, but still. The, the Walter side let it happen, and for the pain he put Jesse through, it just kind of ruined my opinion on Walter for a while, and honestly, I still think he's not that good of a character overall due to what he did to Jesse. Now, don't get me wrong entirely. Walter is a great character. It's just, I think, overall throughout the series, his character slowly declines of what happens and the events of him and Jesse. Speaking of Jesse, overall, I like Jesse's character. On my first watch, he wasn't my favorite compared to Walter, but once again, as the story slowly progressed, and on my second watch, I started to enjoy Jesse a lot more than I did in the first season. His character just kept growing instead of Walter's declining state, and Jesse tried to become a bit better person when Walter got overflowed by the feeling of money and power, just like Gus has. So he slowly turns into the state of power and a drug empire while Jesse tries to go into the decline and become a better person overall. As we see in one of the episodes, we see him tend to a hit inside a crack house, and you can see that side of Jesse that just wants to be a good person. And at the end, he does get his happy ending with going to Alaska and finally getting out of the game. So overall, I'd say Jesse is a great character, and I, I, I like this character. I wouldn't say more than Walter. Even with my current opinion on Walter, I still think overall he's a better character than Jesse. Guess what time it is? It's time to talk about our favorite white boy. And I'm not talking about any white boy. I'm talking about Saul fucking Goodman. Not only is Saul Goodman such a good character that he has his own TV show, he is so damn good that he has somehow collided Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Yes, they're in the same universe, but in the beginning of Breaking Bad, when he's first introduced, he mentions Ignacio and Lalo. Guess who's in Better Call Saul? Ignacio and Lalo. A throwaway joke that was made in Breaking Bad has evolved into this in Better Call Saul. It is insanity. In all honesty, in Breaking Bad, he wasn't my favorite character. He was okay, but he he had his moments of fair disappointment. Overall, he kind of fell short when it came to other characters other than Skylar. Fuck Skylar. Alongside Mike, Lalo, Gus, and Kim, Better Call Saul has been easily one of my favorite TV shows in a long time. To an extent, I'd say better than Breaking Bad. Yes, Breaking Bad has had its moments, but I'd say overall, Better Call Saul has topped that in quite a number of ways. So enough about Saul Goodman. Let's talk about Walt Jr. aka Flynn. And all I have to say about this guy is breakfast. <laughs> God, I don't know what happened there. That was um, a weird glitch. Anyways, let's talk about uh, Skylar. In all honesty in the show, no one likes Skylar. And, and if you say you do, you're either lying or there's something wrong with you. I cannot lie. Her actor did a really great job, though, of making me not like Skylar. I don't know if it was made on purpose or some shit, but her actor did a great job. And when it came to the emotional scenes, her actor did a killer job. And I am i cannot lie, the actor pulled off a great job of acting for Skylar. I imagine in any other series, she's probably a great actor. But Skylar, no. While we are on the topic of Skylar, let's talk about Ted Beneke. I think alongside Skylar, everyone can agree Ted Beneke is also another hated character. When it comes to talking about Ted, all my friends would very much say not very kind words. And since I'm trying to get this montage, I'm not going to say these words. But Ted is another hate character next to Skylar. And luckily, we all know Marie sucks. And I'm going to spare you the details of why Marie sucks. So alongside Ted and Skylar, Marie sucks. So boom, those three trio of shit. So alongside Ted, we have another two fan favorites, Huel and Patrick Hubie. Let's start off with Huel. Better fuel heal or he's gonna eat that damn money because we know he's not just sitting on it. He's gonna engulf that shit in his mouth. He was a great side character and honestly, I think he deserved more screen time in Breaking Bad, but he also deserves some more screen time in Better Call Saul because that show's not over. I'm hoping he can return in the last, I think it's five episodes. And if not, that's fine. Same with Patrick Hubie, but I'm, I guarantee you the actor's schedule's all tied up because he's, he's a popular one. So, and then on, on to Patrick Hubie. Most of the time, Patrick, he arrives on screen alongside Huel. He does most of the talking and work because, you know, Huel's a bit fueled from the night before, so. Uh. And before we get to the last, but not the, not the worst character, but the best character, I have some words from my friends, Emilio and Angel. So first we're gonna do Angel. So Angel's opinion on Breaking Bad is, Breaking Bad is the best show, and I repeat, the best show man has ever made. It is so perfectly crafted, and by the end of the show, no matter what happens, you end up satisfied. And did I mention, it's the greatest show of television history. That's what Angel had to say, and his link of his channel will be down in the description, alongside Emilio's. 
And speaking of Emilio, here's what he said. Breaking Bad is an inspiring show featuring W actors. It also teaches you how to become rich in one, two, three steps. But you know is legal. No one has a problem with it. Walter White. That is some very wise words from not only one, but two of my friends. Angel and Emilio's links of either their channels or whatever they want is going to be down in the description. Thank you to them both for helping out this video. Anyways, on to the final character that I want to talk about. The last character I want to talk about is the one and only the man, the myth, the Gustavo Fring. This wouldn't be a Breaking Bad video without even mentioning Gus. Gus, whenever he walks in the room, it steals the spotlight. And not only is he great in Breaking Bad, he is great in every other show or product he's in. Far Cry 6, The Boys, Mandalorian, all amazing products. And he kicks ass in all of them. Not only do I want to appraise Gus, I want to appraise Giancarlo Esposito himself. That man is an acting legend. He's always the bad guy. He plays that role so perfectly. When he walks into a room, it just goes silent. And he literally just kills Victor for no reason just because he was at the scene of Gale's death. He has no remorse. If there's a reason to kill someone, he's going to do it. There's no reason to save someone who doesn't deserve to be saved. And in Better Call Saul, his story is not only better than in Breaking Bad, it's explained. We don't see his backstory or anything, which I hope there's a show about Gus's backstory sometime, but we can only hope. But in Better Call Saul, his character, him and Mike interact way more, and I wish I can mention Mike in this video, but I'm not gonna bring up Mike, sadly. But those two characters, they they pop perfectly together. They're great, and their dynamic is amazing. Giancarlo Esposito kills the role, as I've said time and time again, and I believe he would deserve a reward. Giancarlo Esposito kicks ass for the role of Gus Spring, and this is mainly just an homage to him. This wasn't even me talking about <laughs> Gus. Either way, Gus, Giancarlo Esposito, both amazing actors and characters and i can't wait to see more of them especially in the future episodes of better call saul because the story between lalo and gus is amazing seeing gus as scared as he is is amazing because you you would never think someone as smart as gus can get feared by a salamanca but here we are anyways that's gonna wrap it up for the video in all honesty i thought this video would be more so around 10 minutes to 15 minutes long and right now it's looking to be eight minutes 8 30 at most so, uh, since I have a bit of time, I would like to talk about the channel a bit. I've been really getting into the groove of making videos and editing. I'm, I'm hoping to pump out, I'd say, at least a video a day for you for this next week for the channel. And if not, then, well, shit, I'll just do two videos. I've already popped out two videos, so if I don't post for the rest of the week, I've already kept up my main promise, but, yeah, whatever. I'm getting really into the groove of editing, and if you like the editing style, because I'm kind of still figuring this out as I go, Please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing. It'll motivate me to get off my ass. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Once again, massive thanks to Emilio and Angel for helping out with the video. And peace.